Okay guys, today I'm trying something new. I'm in my car as you can see. I'm going to meet a former colleague for lunch and then I'm going to try to go on a Easter decor hunt. Um, I've probably said it before but it's difficult in Norway to find uh, Easter decor. You can find uh, yellow chickens and but, but I want bunnies and yeah. So I'll see what I'll find. I think the most difficult thing to find today I'm on a hunt for rocks. <laughs> Sounds strange maybe but I have a idea for my tablescape and I'm going to need a lot of uh, round um, rocks so I hope I can find that yeah and I wanted to say thank you so much I'm so happy you liked my last video I was not sure you were going to like it uh, of course not everybody's it's not everybody's cup of tea but uh, you wrote so nice comments and many of you had beautiful childhood memories uh, involving horses uh, so I'm so happy you liked it um, I my goal for my channel is to vlog our lives and our lives is uh, we do a lot of different things it's about our animals it's about our interests it's about our home and I, I ooh, ooh, this is a difficult day to drive it was a raining cat's life last night and then snowing uh, so it's a bit and now it's zero degrees and that's the worst because you, it can look wet on the ground and it can be ice and the road here where I live is a kind of a country road it's narrow so yeah okay I'm not sure I I'm going to be able to film when I'm out shopping uh, vlogging in Norway is not uh, common and certainly not when you're my age and if I take up the camera in the stores and start speaking <laughs> English I think people will think that I've lost my my mind so yeah but I'll see if I can be a undercover detective and try to film a little bit uh, the camera it's a GoPro that I'm filming on, on now and it's very small so I'll try to sneak it in my pocket and see if I can film a little bit um, that way you can see when I say that when I hear that here about your targets and Walmart and and everything in Norway everything is much smaller so and and we we all, in our culture it's not common to decorate as much as you may do in uh, the states or or in England or in large countries Norway up until 1970 was a very poor country uh, and even though we're not poor anymore I think that uh, it's, it's in our history to to be careful with money and not overspend and uh, do things uh, on a small scale so yeah that's I think that's why you, you can get beautiful uh, decorations in Norway as well but they can be very expensive and I have to drive all over the place to find them so yeah so the place I'm going now first to meet my colleague is the nearest shops to where I live it's about a 15 minutes drive it's, it's it doesn't it's no no buses or anything from from my home 
so I have to use the car and I'll take a look around after I've eaten lunch with her and then I'll go to, go to the neighbor city and see what I can find there so fingers crossed I come home with some great finds and I will bring it to you and show it to you in a Easter haul and then after that I will start decorating so yeah wish me luck okay that was a long but very nice lunch with my former colleague and I got some Easter decorations it was not much and I wish you could have been there when I tried to film in the shop I felt like a thief so the first shot I did was of the roof trying to hide my camera uh, but then I got yeah so you can see Nille which is the shop I maybe buy most of my decoration set it's a cheap store so the prices are at least in Norwegian standard they are okay so now I'm hunting for stones hoping that maybe the flower shop may have some it's not season for this kind of thing right now so would show you quickly at least as quick as I can what I have been uh, shopping um, looking at the table when I say it's hard to find decorations in Norway <laughs> I obviously found uh, quite a lot uh, I cannot go into detail in everything it would take a long time but I'll show you some of the things uh, because I want to have time to take you along to the stable and show you how I decorate the stable. I think I'm ready to decorate now, so... Okay, I have some plans with my uh, tablescape for Easter and I usually, my, my um, process when I decorate, I usually find one or two items and they become deciding for how I decorate. So this year it was these magnolia flowers. I thought they were beautiful and they have been my inspiration for how I will do my tablescape. So I have never tried and I thought that this was a real original idea I, I hadn't seen it anywhere but then I later I've seen some videos with something similar but um, yeah I hope I can uh, make my own spin on this so 
or make it my own. So I'm going to use this for my tablescape and you heard me talking about uh, stuff that I wanted some rocks or round stones. I found, I bought 40 kilos and I washed them so my bathroom is full of stones right now so these I'm also going to use for my tablescape and then I have bought the bits I'm not going to use it all it's artificial grass so the idea is also to use this in my tablescape and uh, along with that I, I did manage to find not many but a few bunnies I thought these were cute these three and I got some small ones I got some white ones. I'm not I'm not going to use these together but yeah and I got these I don't know what I think about. I don't know if I like them but I got them so yeah these two. So that's for the rabbits, for the bunnies, and I also got some napkins with cute bunnies on. And these. Yeah. Then I got some bird's nests. with some small eggs and some different kind of Easter eggs some pink ones you will see that much of my decorations is going to be in pink at least in the house so those I got and I found some cute cups with some cute bunnies on these I'm going to have in my kitchen and it says Go Poske which is Happy Easter in Norwegian it's uh, kind of metal cups yeah and some more greenery some cherry blossoms in white and pink these I'm not certain I'm going to use maybe and then I got some real flowers I have to stand up these with this metal flower container or yeah and these small ones these are always also going to use in my tablescape and some moss but in Norway we when you when many of you talk about Easter eggs I guess you talk about this but in Norway when we say Easter eggs or Korsk egg as it's called I don't know if this is a tradition in other countries or if this is uh, special for Norway but our tradition is and, and usually not in these colors but this is a Norwegian post egg and you can open it and the tradition is to fill it with candy and then you give it to children on Easter evening we eat lamb 
and then they get an easter egg. And you get them in all sizes and colors and patterns. Um, I bought some small ones with some bunnies and flowers on. And this one. But I usually never use them like this. Uh, when you see my decor, you will see a lot of these. Not this big, but decorated like this. Uh, this is uh, decoupage. I've used uh, napkins. Um, and I will make a tutorial on how I make this. So I've made this in all sizes uh, and I made them in small lanterns and uh, uh, a bird, uh, you know, birdhouse and yeah. So I usually, I, I never decorate with them like this. And the reason why I bought this color, which I don't especially like, I don't think it's very Easter. It's, it's I think it's uh, uh, palms, palm branches. Um, but I'm going to use these in my stable. And I guess that most of you know the lovely ladies Misty and Sherry from Queen Bee's Vintage. And she had a great idea, I thought. Not with these kind of eggs, but I've used this. And that's to use uh, this uh, hemp shred to make these kind of eggs. Um, I'm sure mine is not as pretty <laughs> as Misty's, but this was my first. Um, and I've made, and I'm not certain what I think of this, but I made this to go in the stable. This is the m misty one. Uh, and then I made uh, another one with just burlap and yellow ribbon and with small daisies on. And I've just taken a branch and some burlap ribbon. This is not actually burlap ribbon, it's... Uh, or, or it's, it, it is a kind of burlap ribbon, but it's the kind you use in the garden, so yeah. I'm not sure if I like this, but I'll try to hang it and see what I think. Um, so I'll have to make one more, so I'll have two of these, and then I bought these wreaths. I thought they were cute. It's with the egg inside and I don't remember, I've heard many say what this is called, but I don't remember. Uh, and some feathers. These are actually too expensive and too nice to use in the stable. But these were all I could find, at least that I liked. Or I think it was maybe the only wreaths I could find. Um, they, called, they cost 200 Norwegian kroner. It's about 20 pounds, a bit more in dollars and Nelly is tasting everything she can find in the stable so if she does this will not survive but I'll try and I'll see and I thought I would use the burlap ribbon to hang so the idea is to have these on the stable doors um, yeah, I think that's yeah, and I'll, I bought and these I'm not certain of either. I bought <laughs> these 
flowers. They looked so cute in the shop. And now I don't know. But I'll try and see if I can make something of them. And I also got... And my daughter and my husband did not like them. I'm not certain, but I think they are magnolias. So I'll try and use them and see how they look. They're a bit dirty looking or the, the colors aren't as clear as I like them, but I'll try. So that I got and I got a pink sheepskin, which I'm going to use here in the dining room. I also bought two big pink flowers I'm going to show you when I do the house tour. I'm going, I thought I would do an Easter house tour. Um, first I'll decorate the stables, then I stable and then I'll decorate the table and the house and show you. And then I thought I would do a kind of spring Easter house tour. Um, and I bought some beautiful pink flowers in the window two days ago and I think I have killed one already. I do not have green fingers at all. But this year I wanted to use real flowers so yeah, I hope I can take care of them at least until Christmas is over. So. I'll gather up my things and I'll take you to the stable so you can see how I decorate the stable. That was the stable all done. I'm going to show you. It was quick. I don't decorate much down here. Everything I put here will be destroyed either by uh, the damp air or, or by the horses or by the dust. So I try not to put too much here. But And I've collected the yellow that I don't want uh, in the house and put it here. So I'll, I'll take, uh, I'll turn the camera around and I'll show you what I've done. So here is the decor I made. Still not sure what I think, mm, but it's, it will do this year. I like the eggs. Uh, but I don't think I like this but for the stable it's okay so I have one on each door that door and in the other end there there and I've hanged the wreath I, I made some burlap bows just to hide uh, where I hang it, hung it, and they look it doesn't come across on the camera, but I think they're they're pretty. We'll we'll see if we can have them up 
every day or take maybe take them down when the horses are inside I don't know so I have each on one on each door and one there on that door sorry and this is the other one of these and here I just made a small display with a bunny and some chickens and this ceramic boots and some is that called daffodils? I'm not sure. We call them Easter lilies. I don't know the English word. Okay, so that's all I've done here where the horses are. And then for the little sitting area, I made a kind of a nest. This is actually a drinking tray. We don't use them anymore, but we have, haven't taken them down. We still have these things in this box, just in case. We are not going to buy any more horses, but you never know if we're going to need it, so we keep it like this. And down here, I have this bucket with some greenery and some butterfly lights. I put some eggs here. Just a burlap bowl and some bunnies and I put a little bit of decorations in the lanterns, not, not much. And the burlap bowl. And I hung some Easter eggs in the tree and put a yellow blanket and some decorations on the table. Uh, these are treats for the horses and I also put some candy for the horses there. Some lights in this chicken candle holders and a fake some fake greenery so very easy decor but a bit of easter for the horses as well okay guys i'll end the video here in my easter chaos i've taken all my decorations down from the loft so now I have to get on with my decorating um, I think as I said that my next video will be a tutorial on my decoupage eggs and then I will keep the Easter videos coming right up until Easter um, if you're new please subscribe and hit the notification bell please comment uh, I love your comments. Uh, I'll link uh, the Queen Bees Vintage down below so you can see how you make the eggs with the hemp thread. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Today is uh, Petter, our lab's 13th birthday, so happy birthday to Petter. Uh, he has already gotten a lot of treats and a lot of cuddle today and he is probably going to get more. Um, yeah, so until next time, bye!